abiondemand.com. Automotive training you can receive anywhere, anytime. Your online training starts here. Those misfire coats will drive you guys nuts. Misfire coats can be ignition, compression, or fuel related problems. I'm going to add, when we say compression, they also can be that EGR is flowing a cylinder that affects the compression in the cylinder. So if we're looking at this process, I've got a Ford uh, has a misfire rate, 687 cylinder number five. A means that would be a one trip code if that would set. Notice I'm allowed 20,992 misfires. I got 687. Customers complain about a misfire, no code set. I'm using mode six as a diagnostic tool. Now, later on, we'll show you how to use a, a power balance to be able to determine if that cylinder is missing and watch an RPM drop. But again, this vehicle uh, was okay, no code set, but we do have a misfire. Sometimes you have to use all the power of the tool. It's the Ford Power Balance. On this particular car, it's a 2004 Ford Explorer Eddie Bauer 4.6. Kid came in, I was helping out with the AC system, I had the scan tool and decided just to take a look. If you notice, I have a little bit of variation on a cylinder number five. Is it enough to really cause me a problem? Not really, because the car runs really good. The next thing I decided to do, if you had a variation in this, this would be an RPM loss. Any negative number means I, the crankshaft slowed down for that particular cylinder. That's a miss, compression loss, something caused me a problem. If I go over to the next screen up here, it says relative compression. When you have the Ford relative compression test, it's going to run you through a test basically is going to measure the RPM variation between cylinders. What you're going to do is have an open throttle, crank the engine over for, for 10 seconds, and it's going to come up for a graph for you. Any time that you're looking at there, there's variation in the cylinders that would indicate you have a loss of compression, ability of the engine to seal. So you want to do this as a real quick test. Now, you guys know as I well, well as I do, we don't want to do compression when you have the Ford relative compression test, it's going to run you through a test basically is going to measure the RPM variation between cylinders. What you're going to do is have an open throttle, crank the engine over for, for 10 seconds, and it's going to come up for a graph for you. Any time that you're looking at there, there's variation in the cylinders that would indicate you have a loss of compression, ability of the engine to seal. So you want to do this as a real quick test. Now, you guys know as I well, well as I do, we don't want to do compression tests unless we absolutely have to. So this is really nice on Fords, especially those V10s in the process where you can't hardly get to it. How many of you know that if you try to do a really com good compression test on the car, or you might have 10 cylinders you got to work with. Now, this is a relative compression test, which means it doesn't actually give you the actual compression, just variation between cylinders. So keep that in mind. Okay, next screen I've got up here is a misfire monitor incomplete. It doesn't say that, but it's a monitor incomplete. The misfire rate for 200 revs, cylinder number 1A. Notice as the maximum limit says zero. The measure value says zero. Minimum limit isn't there, and it says it passed. Well, yes, it passed because there's no test there. So what you have to look at is when you were looking at mode 6 data on a Ford product, the maximum limit has to have a number in it especially on the older cars. If it hasn't got its number in it, that monitor hasn't completed, which means is you're going to have to do a keep alive memory reset, going to erase that, you're going to have to do a dry cycle on it for the misfire monitor to complete that before this monitor completes. When you're done with this, you need to go over to the scan tool and see where it says misfire profile learn, it must say yes. A lot of you guys say, well, it always says it's completed. Well, Misfire monitor will always say it's completed, but unless you have a number in there, it hasn't really run. So they'll always report it as completed. So that's a little problem we have with Mode 6 and Global OBD2 on Fords. So I wanted to bring that up. A lot of times I see guys have this up there and they'll call me up on the phone and say, I got dismissed, but I can't find it. Well, yeah, you can't find it because it can't test itself.